Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and in this video I am going to talk about top 15 hidden features for this phone. So guys the first feature is about action icons. For example, I open one app, okay, and then you are using this app and you want to take notes in the meantime. What you can do is just press and hold your S Pen button. So I just press and hold it like this, okay, a new note will open and I can start taking my notes, okay. Now what happened is, for example, you want to call someone. So what you can do is you can directly write their number on the same note. So I will write a number okay so let's say I will write this number okay now you want to call this number what you can do is you just press this back arrow okay and just bring your pen closer to this number just hover it near this number like that okay so once you bring it closer you see a phone icon appear over here in the notes okay so I will make it a little bigger okay so I will show you so if I bring my pen closer, you see there is a phone icon appear over here. So you just press this icon like that. So the phone will open and here you can call that number directly. Okay. Now in the same situation, for example, you want to uh, write an email okay, to someone. So instead of going out, you can just write the email ID over here in the notes. Okay. So for example, I write uh, this email just as an example okay at gmail.com okay like that so now what i can do i just press this back arrow and i just bring my pen closer to this email id so i just bring my pen closer to id you see there is an email icon appear over here okay so you just select it now you see uh, this small window appear and it is showing you the emails okay so if you want to use the gmail or outlook so you can complete this action using one of these email there is one more situation for example if you want to do some kind of calculation so i will just erase this email and i will write some kind of calculation okay so let's say 3 multiplied by 5 is equal like that now what i can do again i select this back arrow just uh, hover my pen near to this uh, calculation and you see there is a calculator icon appear you just select it and it will open the calculator with the same calculation and then you can do your calculation if you want to move it further so this is how you can use the action icon in this phone the next feature is about wireless power sharing so if i just bring down this notification panel okay and then i move to the next page and here you see this plus icon just select it once you select it available button menu appear on top so here you can search different buttons okay so what you can do is you see this option of wireless power sharing over here just press and hold it and bring it down here in your uh, quick setting panel you just bring it here like that and then press done okay now what you can do is you can use your your phone as a charger okay i just select this wireless power sharing i turn it on okay now what you have to do if you have some kind of phone or for example i have these earbuds so now what i will do i will just put it at the back of my phone and then they will start charging so for example like this so you can see their light turns on and they start charging you can also see the response on your phone as well now what i will do is i just press my phone like this okay and you can see it says charging and then for example if you want to go more in the more details you just select this sharing your phone power okay just select it and here it will show you all the information so you can see it says charging and it also showing the battery limit and also giving you information about charging will stop when your phone reaches the battery percentage you set. So you can charge your phone, you can charge your Bluetooth devices or you can also charge the iPhone uh, with this S23 Ultra. The next feature is about object eraser. So for example, I open my gallery okay and then i open this image now i want to erase this part okay so you see this box i want to uh, erase it so what i will do is i will just select this pen icon and then i select these three dots and then you see this option of object eraser i just select it now whichever part you want to erase you have to select for example i want to erase this part okay so i just select it so you can see over here now i will select this erase option 
so you can see it will start erasing this okay so you can see it completely erase it once you finish you press done and you can see your image is saved now okay so you can save it from here as well the next feature is about taking the screenshot without this navigation and status bar for example in normal case if we uh, just take the screenshot okay so I will take it okay and now you see if I open this screenshot okay so you can see over here so it is also showing uh, this navigation bar and this status bar so normally what we do is we crop it but it will take a lot of time so instead of cropping it you can do this setting what you can do is just go into the settings then go into the advanced features okay and then here you see this option of screenshots and screen recorder just select it once you select it here you see the third option over here it says hide status and navigation bars you just have to enable it okay now for example if I take the screenshot okay I take the screenshot now okay and now if I open it okay so I will open it and here you will see it is not showing any a navigation bar and it is also not showing any status bar the next feature is about taking selfie or record a video by just giving voice command okay for example uh, I open the camera okay and here I will say capture so here you can see it take my photo and for example if I say smile okay so you you see it take my photo and for example uh, if I want to uh, record the video okay so I just select this video and then I say record video okay so you can see it start recording the video so how to enable this option if you don't have this option enable you can enable it just go into the settings okay once you enter into the settings you have to scroll down and you see this option of shooting methods just select it once you select it here you see this second option over here it says voice commands okay if it is disabled you have to enable it okay the second setting is about show palm if it is disabled you can also enable it so what you can do you can just show your palm to take selfie or recording so I will go back okay and I will just use my palm okay I will show you so like this one if I want to take the photo so I just show my palm you can see it take the photo and same for the video if I just select the video option I just put my palm like this and it start recording the video the next feature is about flash notification so for example if you receive any kind of notification and you want this backlight at the back to flash okay so how to enable it so uh, just go into the settings okay once you enter into the settings just go to accessibility once you enter into the accessibility just select this option of advanced settings once you select it here you see this option of flash notification just select it once you select it here you see uh, the first option over here it says camera flash notification so now I will turn it on and uh, you will see how does it look like so I turn it on then I select this preview option okay so you see there is a backlight flashing okay I will uh, do it again so uh, I will select preview so this is how it looks like whenever I receive the notification there is one more option uh, you can enable if you want uh, this one is screen flash notification so screen will also flash I will enable it and then I select the preview okay so you can see this is how the screen will flash if you receive any notification and you can also customize it if you want to change the color like green preview so this is how it looks like the next tip is about extracting any part of the image and save it separately for example I open the gallery okay and I have this image okay now I want to take out this box and this mouse and I want to uh, like save it separately what I will do I don't have to select any editing option I just directly select it okay like that okay you can see I just select it so you can see uh, it select both of these items okay so I will show you again so I will just press and hold it and you can see so it select both of these items now it gives me three option copy share or save as image I select save as image so these two things will save separately I will go back and I will show you so here are these two objects that I save separately from the image so guys you can also do the same thing with a video you can extract any part in the video I will go back and I will open this video 
okay so i will just pause it now i want to extract uh, this part from the video so i just press and hold it like this okay and then i will show you so you can see over here it extract this specific light okay so i will just select it and then i save it as image okay now i will go back okay and you can see this is how it looks like in the image the next feature is about a camera setting so guys if you want the best resolution and maximum megapixel so you have to enable this setting go into the camera okay and on top you see there is a 3 by 4 ratio icon okay so if i just select it so you can see it is giving you two option 50 megapixel and 200 megapixel so by default it is set to 3 by 4 this normal ratio so if you want the 200 megapixel you have to select it from here and now you can see 200 megapixel available and you will have the uh, best resolution and uh, the same thing for video if i go to the video option you see it says fhd 30 so if you select it here you see it is showing you the 8k 30 option as well so you can select this 8k 30 option for maximum megapixel the next feature is about mute and unmute automatically for example i bring down this notification panel and here is the sound option so for example you are having a lecture and you want to mute your phone what you can do is uh, just press and hold the sound option and here it will bring you to sounds and vibration option so here you see this mute option you just select it okay and now here you see this option of temporary mute so you can enable it okay and you can set a time over here so mute for for example i want to set it for one hour okay so what will happen is after you finish your lecture or you finish your meeting after one hour it will automatically go back to sound mode okay so it will unmute automatically so this is a really cool and really productive feature the next feature is about swipe option for split screen and pop-up view for example i will open this app now i want to open in a split screen view i just use my two fingers and i move it up like this from the bottom okay so i will just move it like this so you can see it easily open in the split screen view the next thing is for example i want to open in a pop-up view i just bring it from the corner okay i just bring it i just drag it like this okay so you can see i will bring it and here it open in a pop-up view so how to enable this setting so you have to go into the settings okay i will close it okay so once you enter into the settings just go into the advanced features and then go into the labs okay and here you see at the bottom we have two options it says swipe for pop-up view you have to enable it the second one is swipe for split screen if it is disabled you have to enable it the next feature is about media volume limit so for example if you connect your headphones uh, to the phone you can customize your volume limit what you have to do go into the settings once you enter into the settings just select this option of sounds and vibration once you enter into the sounds and vibration, you see this option of volume, just select it. Once you select it, you have to select these three dots, okay? And here you see it says media volume limit, just select it. So once you select it, you have to turn it on, okay? And here you can set the volume limit by yourself, okay? So for example, I set it to this limit. Now what I will do, I will just connect uh, my headphones to the mobile phone so i will just uh, put uh, my headphones i already connected now what i will do is i will try to increase the volume okay so for example i increase it so here you can see it go to this limit and it is saying volume limit reach so you can utilize this feature as well the next feature is about auto optimization so if you want your phone in a good condition you can turn on this feature just go into the settings then go into the battery and device care once you enter into the battery and device care, you will see this option of auto optimization. Just select it and you see it says restart when needed, just enable it. So your phone will restart automatically to keep it in a best condition. The next feature is about screen resolution. So if you want the best display, you can enable this setting. Go into the settings, then go into the display, okay? And then select this option of screen resolution. So currently it is set to fhd plus okay you can set it to wqhd plus just select it and then apply it it gives you the sharp screen experience you will 
like it the next feature is about touch sensitivity so if you have screen protector on your phone you can enable this setting just go to the settings okay then uh, go into the display okay and then scroll down and you see this option of touch sensitivity so you can enable it okay so i enable it so increase the touch sensitivity of the screen for use with the screen protector so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please subscribe to my channel thank you very much